ಒಂದು ರೆಂಟವ ರಾಕ್ಕಡ ವರ್ತಮ ಈ ದಾಸರು ಅಹರಿಕಾತೆ ಶಮನಿ ರಿಲೇ ಮಾತಾಡುತ್ತ ಉಂಟಾಡಿದ ಈ ದಾಸರು ಈ ಪ್ರಜಲಂದರಿಗೆ ವಿನಯ ಮುಂದಿದ್ದ ಈ ಪ್ರಜಲಂದರು ಗ್ರಹಿಕ್ಷೆ ಕಂಡುಚೆ ವಿನಂದರಿಗೆ ರಾಕಡನು ಸಿದ್ಧಪರಿಸಲು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಪ್ರಾಂತಿವಿಧಮಯನ ಶೋಧನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಂತಿವಿಧಮಯನ ಆಟಂಕವನ್ನು ಕಂಡು ಬೀಳಿ ಬಿಡಿಪಡಿಸುವಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಏಸು ನಾವು ನಡೆದು ಚುನಾವಣೆ ಬರದಂತೆ ಆಮೇ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಅಸ್ಸಲು ಎಕ್ಕಡ ಕಾಳಿ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಲೇಖಗಳ ಕೂತ್ರಿ ಆ ಪುರುಷರು ಲೈಂಗ ಬೆಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇಂಟರ್ ಕುಚ್ಚಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಆಳದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಪಕ್ಷಾಂತರ ಬೈಕೊಂಡು ಆಗ ಕೇಂದ್ರಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದರ ಬೆನ್ ತಿರುಮಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಕುಂಚಸ ನಾಪೇರ್ ಜಾಂಬಾ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ರವೀಂದ್ರ ಸಂದರ್ಭ Okay. The time is given to you. Okay. Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here for this Bible study this uh, evening. Even now, even now, you know, can say, Dayam Sandra Vari, Chinatu Vati, Isa Kimana Vati, Vari Amal Premato, Ahmani Chinatu Vati, Isa Kimana Vati, Nero Prati Vokariki, Mohana Teri Sutuna. Hallelujah. I want to first say I love India. Ah, nenu matta madiga cheptunnanu India nu nenu antaga aadeshanni yokka rodhi kodukunda prayasthana sapadu vannama. I also want to say that the Lord loves India and he is coming to get you. Ah, mari ee vidhanga meeto kalisi ಆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನು ದೇವರ ಕೊಡಕ್ಕೆ ತಿಳಿಸಿಕೊಡ ದೇವರ ಯೋಗ್ಯ ವಿಷಯಾಲು ತಿಳಿಸಿಕೊಡಕ್ಕೆ ದೇವಾದಿ ದೇವರ ಚಿನ್ನಮಣಿ ಅರ್ಣನ ಪಡಿಸಿಕೊಕ ಆಮೇನ್ ಸೋಸ್ತಾನ ಅಪರ್ಣ ಆಸಾನ್ ಕೇಂದ್ರದ ಜೊತೆ ಜೊತೆ so today we're going to be going through the feast of trumpets and why we believe Jesus could be coming back on the feast of trumpets this year I'm going to teach you why. I think ee yoga samacharamu devudi chinnatvanti lakanamulu bandi nenu antunnanu Yesu Prabhu ati tondar dwara ane antaru. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many are the ready to? Ento vara sellanga antaru. Okay. Also by faith on September the 3rd 
at 11 a.m., please pray that we have 500 to 1,000 people honoring God in India, and Praveen is going to be our host speaker. We're going to be discussing today how to make it to the kingdom of God. Raise your hand if you want to make it to the kingdom of God. Amen. So this is my family, Jaden, Jamie on the left side, my daughter Jaden, and my son Maddox. And we lead Saved by Truth Ministry which all of you are becoming a part of today. So what we're going to be talking about today is how to become the bride of Christ. Because to, to make it to the kingdom of God, you have to become the bride of Christ. The Bride of Christ are the chosen people, the elect, the Church of Philadelphia, and the hundred and forty four thousand. I did Let's read about how we will be in heaven with Jesus. Amen. John 14, verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. And if it were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Shouldn't 
మీకు స్థలం సిద్ధపరచమని ఉన్నారు చాలా దేవుని స్తోత్ర వచ్చినటువంటి యేసు ఈ పెట్టిన మన కొరకు స్థలమును సిద్ధపరచడానికి First Thessalonians 4 verse 3. Brothers and sisters, we don't want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and grows again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's own words, we tell you that we who are still alive and are left are coming to the Lord uh, until the coming of the Lord will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord will, himself will come down from heaven with a loud command and with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet called God and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, wow. encourage each other with these words. <laughs> Revelation 3 7 to the angel of the church of Philadelphia right these are the words of him who are holy and true who hold the keys of David when he opens no one can shut and when he shuts no one can open I know your deeds yeah I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut I know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name I will make those who are the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars. I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, 
I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. The one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will they leave it. I will write them on them a new a name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on them my new name. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. <laughs> And that means that Jesus is going to protect you before the great tribulation so we don't have to go through it. Revelation 14 1. Then I looked, Revelation 14 1. Then I looked, and there before me was a lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing water and a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was that of a harpist playing their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures of the elders. No one could learn the song except 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They were purchased from among mankind and offered as first fruit to God and to the Lamb. No lie was found in their mouth, they are blameless. <laughs> Become a true disciple of Jesus.
This is how we become a true disciple of Jesus. Matthew 28, verse 18 through 20. Then Jesus, came to them, then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Surely, Mantisuata, Yeri and the Jango, Patendi, Pandundi, Yeri Bachano, San Chalani. I think it's why you have to watch him. Paralot, who we get him. Savalita, everybody, Arabic, Samasadan, Sisuka, Telling his daughter, So from this point on, you want to become a disciple of Jesus. The Bible only uses the word Christian three times in the entire Bible. Jesus makes disciples. Churches make Christians. So from now on, you are considered a disciple of Jesus. <laughs> So the way you become a disciple of Jesus is you must hold to Jesus' teaching. John 8, 31, 32. To the Jews who have believed them. John 8, 31, 32. To the Jews who had believed them, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciple. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. <laughs> So whoever's teaching you are is whose disciple you are. If you hold on to the church's teaching, you're the church's disciple. If you hold on to your pastor's teaching, you're your pastor's disciple. If you hold on to your minister's teaching, you're the minister's disciple. If you hold on to the Bible talk leader's teaching, you're the Bible talk leader's disciple. If you hold on to the Pope's teaching, you're the Pope's disciple. If you hold on to your parents' teaching, you're your parents' disciple. If you hold on to the people on the internet's teaching, then you're their disciple. And if you hold on to your own teaching, not backed up by scripture, you're your own disciple. But the only place we can find Jesus' teaching is in the Bible. 
Become a disciple of Jesus, you must die to yourself and follow Jesus. Luke 14 25. Large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and turning to them, he said, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father, his mother, his wife, his children, his brother, his sister, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. And anyone who does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. This does not mean that you have to hate your family or your life. This means that you have to love Jesus more than everyone in your family, your family, your friends, your, your children, and even your own life. You have to love Jesus more than all of that so that you will always follow Jesus. The 
The next thing we need to do is we need to repent from our sins. In other words, turn away from our sins. So to repent from our sins, we need to do several things. Number one, we need to see our sin and see the sin that's in our life. Number two, you need to be sorrowful for your sin. If you have sin in your life, you need to be sorrowful and be upset that you have that sin in your life. You need to confess your sins and get them out of your life. Confess them to God, confess them to people so that you can be healed. You need to be shameful for your sins. So if you have sin in your life, you should be embarrassed that you have that sin and be ready to get rid of it. Number five, if you have, you should hate your sin. You should hate your sin so much that you are ready to get rid of it out of your life right now. And you need to turn from your sins. You need to stop sinning and do what is right. Number three, we need must be baptized for the forgiveness of our sins in water. Baptism is the 
John 3, 3 through 7. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old? They can be chast. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at me saying, you must be born again. Acts 2, verse 36. Then let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you, is for your children, and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord God will call. <laughs> Rudy Athens was not the only scholar. He is Ryan, one of the Rudy Athens, are zero of a second. Please do yes, no, we will sometimes check with the Angie and Chapro. I am the devil of Nichera to be not so to be your answer. Amen. 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 By no means. We who are those who have died to sin, how can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who are baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? We are therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. <laughs> Ah, 
is what baptism looks like. This is Jesus' old life on the cross. This is your life uh, before the cross. You, Jesus died and was buried in the, in the tomb. You died with Christ and you're buried with him in baptism. Jesus is raised to a new life. You are raised to a new life. You now have the Holy Spirit and you've been born again. we need to keep the Ten Commandments, the covenant of the God, of God. That is the fourth thing we need to do. John 14, verse 15. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 21. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will also love him and reveal myself to him. Okay, John, 1 John 5, verse 1. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commandments. In fact, this is love for God, to keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. Hello? Hello, I just read it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 
దేవునికి స్తోత్ర చూడండి మనం ప్రేమిస్తున్నాడండి ఎవరు వెళ్తుంది ఇప్పుడు తల్లి చూడండి తల్లి ప్రేమ కూతురు లేకపోతే కొడుకు తెలుసుకున్నప్పుడు నా తల్లి నన్ను ప్రేమిస్తుందని ఎలా తెలుస్తుంది అంటారా తల్లి ప్రేమించినప్పుడు ఆ ప్రేమ ఆ బిడ్డ చూసినప్పుడు తను అనుకుంటది అవును నా తల్లి నన్ను ప్రేమిస్తుంది అదే దేవుడు మనం ప్రేమిస్తున్నాడు కనుక ఆ ప్రేమకు మనం కట్టుబడి ఉండాలి అది ఎందుకంటే అది నీ కొరకు నా కొరకు ఎలాంటిది రక్తము కాల్చినటువంటిది ఆ ప్రేమ The rich young ruler, Matthew 19, verse 16. Then a man came to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to give eternal life? Why do you ask me what is good? Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. <laughs> మనిషి కుమార మహాశ్రమ మీద ఆశీర్వదినప్పుడు మనం ఏం చేయబడాలంటే పన్నెండు గోత్రం కనబడుతూ ఉంది మన వంట రీతిగా పెట్టారా మనం ఏం చేయబడాలంటే దేవుడిని ప్రేమిస్తారు దేవుడిని వాక్యము లేకుండా అదే విధంగా ఆదేశం తీసుకొని అతని జీవితాన్ని పోగొట్టుకున్న నీవు నూతనంగా చెల్లించినప్పుడు అవే చేయాలంటే తిరిగి పాపంలోకి వెళ్ళాలి For this is the whole duty of all mankind. Chadwane, Vasangi Grandamu, Pananda Jaanu, Palamudu Vajanu. Pidhanta Yu Mirina Tharavata. Pidhanta Yu Mirina Tharavata. Ah. Devuniyandu Bhai Bhakti Vahari Yu Mdi. Ayan Pakta Nalusani Chi. Nanishi Kona Vajanu. Chadwane, Amanu Vajanu Ki. ఇదేవిధంగా on god's calendar surely ina ipu mana prudha kaadhamu aacharistunna nenu antunanu yavaro yedo jettunde kiruvani palana kaasukunnaru palana vidhanta chestunnarani ani vaadu mosu padipoyinatte vishwasam kodi jaramu chestunnani nanu kanna mane cheyadanni prudhulara ee edi satyamu daaniki kavadinchadaniki sirpadali hallelujah ee edi satyamu daaniki ఎందుకు ఇలా మనం వెళ్ళినప్పుడు 
పట్టికలు మనం పడిపోయినట్లే అందుకే ఈ పునరుద్ధరణ తప్పనిసరిగా ఆచరించాలి Exodus 31:12 Then the Lord said to Moses say to the Israelites you must observe my sabbath this will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come so you may know that I am the Lord who makes you holy observe the sabbath because it is holy to you everyone who anyone who desecrates it must be put to death those who do any work on that day must be cut off from their people six days work is to be done but the seventh day is a sabbath rest holy to the lord whoever does any work on the sabbath day is to be put to death నిన్ను పదకొల పరిశుద్ధ పరిచి యహోవాను నేనే దేవుని స్తోత్ర అంటూ ప్రేమిందారా ఆయన మనల్ని పరిశుద్ధ పరిచి పెట్టడానికి ఆయన మనల్ని పవిత్రులుగా చేయడానికి తన రాజ్యంలో మనల్ని స్థానపడడానికి తన రాజ్యంలో చూడడానికి మనల్ని పవిత్రులుగా చేయడానికి ఒక దినమును ఏర్పాటు చేశాడు అదే పరిశుద్ధ దినము కనుక అదే Did she read the scripture? Yes. Okay, I didn't hear. Exodus 31 verse 16. The Israelites are to be observed the Sabbath, celebrating it for generations to come as a lasting covenant. It will be a sign between me and the Israelites forever. For in 6 days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the 7th day he rested and was refreshed. When the Lord finished speaking to Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave them the two stone tablets of the covenant law the tablets inscribed by the inscribed by the finger of god chudandi manamu chaala vegi pachamu bodhinchukunda nadu vaakaramu 30 avada jayamu 16 vachana aa israelilu tama tama paramulaku visrami dinam aadarichi aa dinam aadarikovalu అది నిత్య నిబంధన ఏ నిబంధన అంటే అది మాట్లాడే అవకాశం ఉంటదా కొట్టేడే అవకాశం ఉంటదా ఎక్కొట్టేడే అవకాశం ఉంటదా ఎవరికి స్తోత్ర అతనంగా ఎంతమంది ఎక్కడ చెప్పండి సార్ నేను చెప్తున్నాను నువ్వు వెళ్తారా నిత్య నిబంధన అది ఆ నిత్య నిబంధనను నీవు విడిచిపెట్టినట్లయితే ఆయన ఆత్మీయం కూడా నువ్వు మర్చిపోయినట్లే ఎవరికి స్తోత్ర ఆతిథ్య నిబంధనలను పక్కనెట్టే దేవుడు పక్కనెట్టే ఈనాడు నువ్వు ఆలోచన చేయి ఆదివారం ఎన్ని పనులు ఎలా ఉన్నా సరే ఎవరిని వెతకాలి దేవుడిని వెతకాలి దేవుడి దగ్గరికి రావాలి ఆదివారం ఎన్ని పనులు ఎలా ఉన్నా సరే ఓ కోటి రూపాయలు వచ్చి ఆదాయం నీకు వచ్చినా సరే అది నీ పోతు ఎందుకంటే అది ఎవరికి స్తోత్ర నేను దాని కొరకు ఆశించగా దేవుని కొరకు ఆశించు దేవుడిని అడుగు దేవుడికి నూనె దీవెను మీకు అక్కడ ఇస్తాడు రెండంత దీవెను మీకు ఇస్తాడు కనుక ఇది గాడ్స్ ప్రామిస్ ఇది తెలియపరచిన విధంగా మనము దీన్ని ఆచరించాలి అదే ద టెన్ కమాండ్మెంట్స్ రెవల్యూషన్ 22:14 బ్లెస్డ్ ఆర్ దోస్ హూ డూ హిస్ కమాండ్మెంట్స్ దట్ దే మే హావ్ ద రైట్ టు ద ట్రీ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ and may enter through the gates in the city Jeeva-mukshana-ku-akku-gala-varai 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 
ఆ పట్టణము లోటికి ప్రవేశించినట్లు తమ వస్త్రములు ఉదుకుకొని వాడు తల్లిలు దేవుడికి స్తోత్రంట పాపాన్ని ఊరుకోవాలి మనం ఎక్కడ ఏ సుప్రీస్తు పాపాన్ని మనం ఎప్పుడైతే ఉదుకుకుంటామో మనకి ఏమవుతుందంటే తల్లిదండ్రులు దేవుడు అనుగ్రహిస్తున్నాడు ఆలేలుయా ఆశీర్వాదములు దేవుడు అనుగ్రహిస్తున్నాడు నువ్వు ఏమైతే ఆశిస్తావో దానిని దేవుడు ప్రత్యేక ప్రేరణానికి సిద్ధపడతాం So how do we keep the seventh day holy? We look and spot the new moon at night, which is the sliver of the moon. Then the day after we see the sliver of the moon in the morning is the first day of the month. Shunani Bhattani Bhattanamu Dhaka Bhattani Jalaka Kundratani Dhanamu Magalai Nante Manamu Varayi Sarnanta Mundu Nena Shibarvichi Dhani Shukachana So we spot the new moon. The first day of the month is called the new moon celebration. It's the first day of the month and it's also called the day that no man knows. ఇక్కడ మనం చూస్తే ప్రియులారా అనాడు దాని ఎలా ఏర్పాటు చేశారంటే ఈ పునరుద్ధార దినమును కూడా ఎలా ఏర్పాటు చేశారంటే నల శుభలో ఏమవుతుంది చెప్పండి నలబడి పడుతుంది కదా ఆ శుభలో లాగి ఏమీ మానేది ఎందుకంటేరా అది దేవుడి ఏర్పాటు చేసింది చూడండి అక్కడి నుంచి ప్రారంభమైంద ఈ నెల పొడుపు మనం చూసినప్పుడు ఎలా ఉంటుంది అగ్ర చదాకాలంలో అక్కడి నుంచి ఇది మొదలై చదువుదాం ఇంకా ముందుకెళ్తే ఎప్పుడు చదువు 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 the second sabbath is always the first sabbath i mean the second sabbath is a full moon which happens to land on sunday this month so yesterday was actually the second sabbath of the month and it was a full moon i know you could uh, you did let me just to know ఇవన్నీ ఒకసారి మేము క్యాలెండర్లో తీసుకోండి అదే పునరుద్ధారం ఇలాంటి నేను ఎందుకు మాట చెప్తాను ఏంటంటే పునరుద్ధార దినము ఆదివారం అది కాకుండా శనివారం అని ఎంతో మంది రకరకాలుగా ఏం చేస్తున్నారు అంటే అటు మీద మూసిపెడిపోతున్నారండి దేవుడికి స్తోత్ర కొంతమంది ఏం చేస్తున్నారు ఆదివారం అనేది సోమవారం నాడు ఆదివారం మీద వెళ్ళడుతున్నారు ఎక్కడ వెళ్ళడుతున్నారు మీకు ఎంతగా అర్థమైతే మీకు చెప్పవసరం చూడండి ప్రియులారా ఏది సత్యమో దాన్ని గ్రహించడానికి సిద్ధపడండి ఏది యథార్థమో అది గ్రహించడానికి సిద్ధపడండి నా దేవుడు నీకు కావాల్సిన అక్కడే వాళ్ళకి సిద్ధపడతాను it'll be a half a moon the other direction 22nd 23rd 24th 25th 26th 27th 28th that's the fourth sabbath of the month and then we go outside to spot the new moon again and then there's usually a 29th day of the month where the moon goes dark trinity even in our own chusina pulu ee pundadana dinam anedi kuda ee date lo vastunna anamadi sabbath day anedi kuda kanaka priyulara ala nalachipatta desari malai vaatundi nalapodu vaatundi vastundi alaga oka nela anedi modalu kuntaru kanaka
this is what it looks like on a calendar. This is August 18th. We spotted the new moon on the 12th. The second, the 13th was the first day of the month. That's the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, and then the seventh day, that's what the moon would look like, a half a moon. The second Sabbath is the 14th day of the month. It's a full moon. The, the next Sabbath is the third Sabbath. It's a half a moon the other direction. And then the fourth Sabbath this month, it'll probably be a dark moon. And then the next day is the 10th of the month. It's a new moon, which means Tuesday is the first day of the month, which is the Feast of Trumpets. September September Amen. And the Feast of Trumpets is lands on the day that no man knows. So this is the day that we believe Jesus can come to get us, which is the Feast of Trumpets. These are the moon cycles. The first moon is the sliver of the moon. That's the first day of the month, the next day in the morning. The next Sabbath is seven days later. The next Sabbath is 14 days later. The third Sabbath is 21 days later. And the fourth Sabbath is usually a sliver of the moon. is 28 days later. And then we look for the new moon again. So you can now learn the moon cycle. So we need to be ready for the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets is on September 11th, 2018. And this is the day the whole world remembers. 
తనకు ప్రీమియర్ లేరా నేను అంటున్నాను ఇదే ఈ సెప్టెంబర్ పదకొండవ తారీఖు అనేది మరి చాలా ప్రాముఖ్యమైంది కనుక మనం అందరం పేర్చి ఉందా ఒకవేళ దేవుడు రాక్కడ ఇంకా మరి లేట్ అయింది అని అంటే కనుక మనం ఏం చేయాలంటే కృపణ చూపించినట్టు కనుక ఈ యొక్క సెప్టెంబర్ పదకొండవ తారీఖు అనేది ఆయన వస్తూ రానే రాక్కడ దినముగా గుర్తించారు ఇది మనమే కాదండి అనేక దేశాలు అమెరికా అన్ని దేశాలు కూడా గుర్తిస్తున్నాయి The reason why this day is the day the whole world remembers because on September 11th in 2001 the twin towers were knocked down they were not knocked down by muslims they were knocked down by the jews that owned the building and they were also knocked down by the government of the united states it was a true demolition <laughs> Amen. So we are really excited about the Feast of Trumpets and we need to be ready. And here's a message to the children of God, which are all you. You are all Abraham's seed, according to the promise. Go ahead. Galatians 3, verse 26. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, nor slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ Jesus, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. <laughs> Everybody is equal. So this is a message to the true children of God. You are all Abraham's seed according to the promise if you are a true disciple of Jesus. You hold to Jesus' teaching in the Bible. You repent from your sins. You are baptized full immersion in water for the forgiveness of your sins. You do the Ten Commandments. You keep the seventh day holy based on God's calendar. And you are ready and waiting on the Feast of Trumpets, which is this year on September 11, 2018. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I want us to all pray starting today from today until September 11th that Jesus comes to get us and take us home.
So we need to be ready to become the bride of Christ. Amen. Can you pray for us? Yes. Let's pray. You go ahead, pray for us. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, everybody. We appreciate you. I love you. And I can't wait to see you in the kingdom of God. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Andrew, get